Hello and welcome to Infinity. Today we're going to look at doing a day into night uh, picture, but doing so through an understanding of how the eye works and how it responds to light in different colours. First of all, you may have noticed that if you look at a colour red and a bright light, it's really strong and it will dominate the picture. But if you look at a red later on in the day, it's sort of fading off. And red fades off quite quickly as the light decreases. Green, on the other hand, is quite strong. Our eye senses in the eye to pick up green are effectively very strong because we see a lot more of green. And this is reflected in the camera's Bayer sensor in which there are two points to pick up green as opposed to one for red and one for blue. So when night comes and we see things in blue, this is not because we are more sensitive to blue at that time. It's because the red and the green are turned down, which leaves the blue. And that's picked up more. And this is to do with the way that the rods, which are effectively the black and white sensors in the eye, work. Because they will start picking up at night, but they'll also pick up from the blue. So it's a bit, bit interesting, but we can reproduce this using curves. So what we do is quite simply, we introduce a curves like this. First thing we do, we're going to go to red, and we're going to just move the part of this as a straight line, just move it down in this direction, which will turn down the red. In fact, we'll go to the halfway mark because it's easy to remember. It doesn't have to be there. You can play around with it. And that's immediately turned down the red. So the reds you can see are darker in both the, you know, the reds themselves, but it's also because it's putting down the lights as well. It's just over that range there. Greens, because greens are stronger, we're not going to turn them down as much. But as you see, as we turn down the greens like this, so we've got another parallel line. We'll put that halfway. Again, it's a convenient point and it looks about right. So greens kind of get a bit darker. But then we do the overall light. Notice here we don't touch the blues because the blue here is already appearing because we've turned down the red and the green and all that's left in the colours are blue. So I just go to the master now and turn down the overall light. So as light comes, as night comes, whites in particular disappear or they start going down. So we just to make it as dark as you like, we pull down the master curve and then we'll just grab the middle and we can do what we like. We can pull it back up again here or we can pull it down again. So it depends how dark you want it to make it. If you want to make the lights a bit darker, we'll just pull down the right hand one like that. So now we can take this curves, copy this and try other pictures. So this one here, drop that in. And there you've got to see the blue in the shadows. Skies often, because they're so much lighter, you may need to separately select them and darken those even further. So and you can do that with another curves or just make it darker. But you can see already you're getting the dusk effect. But you can play with this again. You can say if I oops, lift this up, I'm just going to pull up the middle here. So the lights are not changed, but it's seeing it's a little bit more like dusk. But again, you see you've got the blue in the shadows without having changed it. And let's go to one more. Just complete outside scene and just drop the curves in there and you've immediately got that kind of night effect where the lights kind of show up a bit but not completely white. Anyway that's it, that's all you need. Here it is and this is the night curve. That's it and thank you very much for watching.